Hey guys, it's George. I'm playing catch up with The Seraphim. They dropped their first full album and the title track of the same name, Unforgiven, whilst I was in South Korea. I went to the Seraphim Cafe. All the merch was sold out. I was so annoyed. I wanted to buy a little pin or something, but the cafe was super cute. It was so sick to go to like my first K-pop pop-up event. Obviously I've heard the song. It was playing everywhere in Korea. I've seen some live stages, but I've held off the MV for you guys. <laughs> the temptation was real, okay? Oh my God, I was so tempted. But now we're gonna watch it together. If you are a regular viewer, thank you so much. You know the drill. But if you are new here, let me explain. We're gonna react to the MV first, and then afterwards, I'm going to deep dive into the fashion, unpack the looks, the styling, the aesthetics. And if you want to learn more about my fashion background, I've left a little blurb in the description box. Let's hit play on Unforgiven. Ooh, that's sick. <laughs> Oh, we fly in. We had La Seraphim Cafe. We've now got the La Seraphim Hotel. Starring La Seraphim. Whoa. Yes. Yes, the cowboy hat, the devils. <laughs> we knew this was gonna be bad bitch vibes. Ooh, the way fuck. Oh my god, Unche singing about rebellion and she's spraying the ice all over the gate. So cute. <laughs> Love how we've gone from all black to all white for this scene. The drama. The cinematography go off. This <laughs> so extra. <gasps> Fuck. Nolly. Obsessed. Kura fucking up. I'm obsessed with the choreo. I'm still not over the abs. I'll never go over the abs. Fuck me up. <laughs> oh my god, screaming. <laughs> Sakura, the bad bitch energy, yes. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, if you've been on social media recently, you would have seen the giant red boots everywhere. Can't say I'm mad about them. I think they're so fucking stupid, like people wasting their money on these boots. I think we have a La Seraphim version on Miss Unche here. And you know what? I am mad. I am mad. She looks insane. Ooh. Vicious. Ooh, go on. Ooh, we're bleeding. Love that we're getting the distressed denim here because for me it ties it back to anti fragile. We had two sets of the distressed denim looks. Yes! Just 
everything about this is just a snake. Never be a clown. That move, so extra. Also the colourful wigs, did not miss that. <laughs> MV did not disappoint after hearing this song everywhere in South Korea, seeing the live stages, the challenges, the MV did not disappoint at all. The thing that really stands out to me about the styling of Unforgiven is that it's more so about textures and the colours are mostly accents. Predominantly, we have black and white looks, and then in the black set of looks, we have the accent of orange. I know we have Yin Jin's pink dress moment, but that's the only full-coloured look within this MV. I know we have the look at the end of the jeans, but I don't really count denim as colour because denim has different washes. I know obviously you can get coloured denim, blah, 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 blah. I'm chatting shit now, but do you know what I mean? Denim, for me, is not a use of colour. Unforgiven obviously has this cowboy western influence. You can see it in the styling. You can hear it in the sound of the song. But with the styling, I like how it's not literal. We've taken elements of what you'd associate with a cowboy. Cowboy hats, bolo ties, fringe, suede, the boots. But it's been balanced out in the members' looks and used in a contemporary way where it's not like, mm, cowboy costume. Our opening set of looks, we're getting these all black looks that have the cowboy elements and the different textures. And I think how they've balanced the cowboy elements and the textures is really smart. When we look at Kazua's look, we can see that she's got the black crop top that's cut straight across the bust and then she's got those high-waisted trousers that flare out you can see that they've got that beautiful white cut out on the hip that give like this nude illusion a nod to chaps but it's actually white and it ties into the white piping on the trouser but the textures are cotton on cotton but then she's the one that has the cowboy element she's got the cowboy hat she's got the bolo tie so they've kept the textures to a minimum. But when you look at Che Wan, Unche, and Yin Jin's look, they've got a mixture of textures, but they've not got the cowboy hat. They've got the tassels and the leather. In this scene, Yin Jin and Unche both have the tassel tops of the shorts, and they've got different variations of those double leather belts. And then Che Wan, she has the bustier that's got the double belts tying back into Yin Jin and Unche's look, but then she's got the black high waisted leather pants with that oversized pocket detail. I really love how the leather then ties into the belts on the top, but you can see the matte background of the bustier. It's so good. Sakura's so look. She's got the bolo tie, the little bralette, but then she's got that leather oversized shirt jacket with all of the tassels, but then her look changes later on. Our next scene is Yin Jin's verse and her look changes, but the other members are in the same look. I like how they've done that because it's still all black, but it gives us that slight variation. Here, Yin Jin has been styled with the cowboy hat. She's got the braids with all of the gold accessories in her hair, and then she's got the strapless little black dress that has the flowing skirt, still quite short. You can see it's belted at the waist. And I love how it's been finished with those leather gloves with the tassels. Again, it nods to characteristics of like this Western cowboy vibe, but it's not too literal. Sticking with the all black outfits for a moment, this is where we can see Sakura's look has changed. She's still got the bolo tie, the bralette, the little shorts with the Western style belt, but then she's got this knitted shoulder piece and you can see that it's got this orange laddering that wraps around the arms and it hangs free at the cuffs. And that orange is just a beautiful accent in this all black set of looks. When we get to the line of the song, Unforgiven, Yes I Was Bleeding, and the song like drops and it slows down. I love the fact that both times this happens during the song, we switch to a white look. First of all, we have Che Wan riding the horse. She's got her cowboy hat on, they've given her the braids. She's got the bolo tie, and then she's got this beautiful white dress. I love how the top half of it 
is straight across the bust, it's very fitted. And then over the hips, you can see that the fabric has the sheer quality to it and it's really ruffled and ruched and it falls asymmetrically over what looks like a black leather boot. The juxtaposition of the leather against the very soft dress, but then the black of the boot tying into the black of the hat really balances it out and it's just, the softness of the look really suits how the song slows in these scenes. The second white look in Unforgiven is worn by Kazua, and I think the texture of this dress is the perfect choice. In both of her scenes, there is drama going on with the giant wing and then the fabric being draped behind her. So going for a really plain texture, it would have worked well with the wing, but it wouldn't have worked well with the scene where the fabric drapes behind her. It would have blended too much. So for going for this soft knitted ribbed texture, I believe the dress is by Courage. It just picks up so beautifully on camera. It works perfectly with the glove pieces and then also that leather strappy kitten heel that she's wearing. Jenjin's bright pink moment. I love the fact that this is the only look in full color in the MV because it makes the grandeur of it just even bigger in my opinion. I love how she steps out of the lift and like the back half, the train of the dress just rips off. It's got a comedic value to it, but the look itself is so beautiful. The sweetheart neckline, all of the tucks in the dress that go in the different directions, on the bustier at least, it just looks so beautiful. And then it ties perfectly into the pleated tutu style skirt. The tutu style skirt here works for me because it's not like, straight up ballerina vibes. It leans in a more fashion direction because of the pleating and the train. I love the train, but just, yes, I'm here. I'm here for it ripping off. It's so good. Sakura's solo look. This is just bad bitch vibes through and through. The snatch ponytail and then how the look itself is incredibly sleek. I like how we have that very like muted, deep blue tone top. Then we've got the dark gray skirt of the black leather boots and you can see that there are cutouts at her hips. And then the armor piece coming down, it adds to the strength of the look. It's the same look where she pulls out the sword, the armor and the sword just tied together so beautifully and the metallic on camera in the night scene, it really pops and stands out. Sakura looks unreal. Unche's look where she's got the La Seraphim version of that big red boot that I absolutely hate. I like it here because it works with the proportions of the outfit and it's not so jarring where it's black with the La Seraphim logo on it but the red ones oh my god I just fucking hate them so much like I understand how they could work in a music video, but when people actually parting with their money for something so ridiculous, to what, like wear once and throw in the bin, like it angers me. This look here, the boots work. I'll give it that, I will give it that. And the styling overall, the cap sleeve white shirt, the tie, just one slightly loose, the collar worn open, then she's got that statement necklace laid over the top. Great styling. And then for me, it's the waistcoat. The waistcoat is so cute. I like the fact that it's not fitted. It's got this more slightly oversized cut to it. And then when the hood goes up, it has the little ears. It's so cute. And especially in the scene where, you know, she's singing about rebellion, she's like spraying the icing all over the cake. We get the little devil horns plays beautifully into that, but then also the point choreo of the song. The final set of looks of the distressed denim, I absolutely love. As I mentioned, my reaction is a great nod to Anti-Fragile, their previous comeback, because they had two sets of distressed denim looks in that MV. All of the members have a very similar cut of jean on, where they're sat right at the waist, all very distressed, but we've got different washes going on and different styles of distressing. Looking at Sakura's jean, for example, it's mostly about having the giant, gapes at the knees but then when you look at Yinjin's it's more about having slashes in the denim and we have variations of that throughout the rest of the members. What I really like about the set of looks is how the silhouette is very very similar but there are slight differences. Looking at Chewan and Kazua for example their tops are more cropped whereas the other members are then more covered but they're still giving us crop. Unche and Yinjin 
they're giving us cropped but in different ways. Unche has the Gucci bustier on and then Yin Jin has that cropped white t-shirt with that sheer beautiful bustier over the top and you can see the sheer quality really well. And then Sakura's look. Sakura's look has to be my favourite. I love the really extreme cutouts on the bodysuit that she's wearing and how it's high necked. I honestly can't pick a bias out of the Seraphim, but Sakura, every time she pops up, there's, there's just something, there's just something where I'm just kind of like, oh, are you my bias? I can't decide. Unforgiven is such a vibe. I honestly love this song so fucking much. The MV as well, just, Another fantastic MV from The Seraphim. My favourite B-sides from the album, hands down, has to be No Return Into The Unknown. I'm obsessed with the choreo <laughs> from this song when they do the can-can and the little hip-hop. Oh my god, it kills me every time. And then Flash Forward, obsessed. Let me know your favourite B-sides in the comments, but thank you so much for watching. A massive thank you to everyone who has subscribed. You are the best. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys. Bye.